Hello and welcome to the second tutorial in this tutorial series and today I'm going to talk about a second uh, plugin that I really like using when I'm creating a uh, architectural visualization scenes and this plugin is named IV generator what this plugin does is generates Ivy like the name suggests if I go to an example here in the site you see this is the ivy that is generated. You put a first place where the ivy starts and it starts growing randomly to all directions and overlaps objects in the scene. So it creates like a, a weed of uh, plants just with a life it's of its own. If like you can put it on uh, sides of buildings and it will grow and overlap everything. So it's a really cool effect. Now, in order to download this uh, plugin, what you need to do is go to this website. I will have the link in the description below. Just in this website, the GuruWare, just hit GWIV and scroll down and hit this button here, GWIV. This will download the plugin to your hard drive. Now, go to the library or a folder where you downloaded this plugin. In my example, it's here. And just open the zipped file inside you will find all the versions of 3d studio max since 2010 so choose the version you are using i'm using 2016 so i'm going to go inside 2016 and copy this file here inside of the version of the 3d studio max i'm using copy it to the plugin library or plugin directory in your 3d studio max uh, folder so in most cases it's on the main drive in program files Autodesk 3d studio max 2016 or which version you are using and inside here plugins and just drag and drop it here I already ha have this plugin in the uh, library so I'm not going to drag and drop it but just drop it inside this folder here the plugin folder after you do that you need to these two textures which are the textures of the leaves on the ivy so if I look at the leaves here they have textures on them so I need to tell 3d studio max where these two textures are in order to do this I'm going to copy these two files to a library of my choosing so in my example it's ivy generated textures just copy them here or wherever library you want and inside 3D Studio Max, let's, it's auto saving, so it's gonna take a second or a couple of seconds. Inside 3D Studio Max, you need to tell 3D Studio Max about this folder uh, so it can search for the textures there. In order for 3D Studio Max to know where to search for the textures, go to Customize, custom, uh, Configure User Paths, and External Files. And here, hit Add. Once you do that, just choose the folder where you put the textures in. So in my case, this one. And after you go inside the folder, just use path, like so. And it will be in this uh, list, long list of, in my case, the long list of paths where 3D Studio Max searches for its textures. So just uh, make sure it's here in this list. In my case, it's already here, so I'm going to delete it. And don't delete in your case. And I'm going to hit OK. So don't hit on X, hit OK in the bottom of the screen. I hit on X because I already have this folder in the list. So now, once the plugin is installed, one more note. When you copy the file to the plugin directory, make sure 3D Studio Max is not active. Because if it is active, it will not let you copy the file. So just get out of 3D Studio Max, copy the file to the plugin folder, then go back inside 3D Studio Max. Once you do that, you will have here in Create Geometry, in the drop-down menu, a new folder that is named GuruWare. Inside here, you will have our plugin. So now you have the plugin and you can use it. So now let me show you how it works. If I'd like to add some ivy to, to this building here, so I'm going to go near this building here. I want the ivy to grow like so and just overlap a little bit to the balcony here and go up. 
So in order to do this, I need to specify a start point for my IV to grow from. So I'm going to select this GW IV. I'm going to make sure the auto grid is on because I want the point to stick to a surface. And auto grid sticks to the surface that you are on with your cursor, with your mouse. So it sticks to this, to this deck and now it sticks to the wall and it starts building whatever I want to build from that point. So auto grid, grid is on. I'm going to build this ivy from this point here, let's say. After you click it, if I go zoom inside a little bit, you can see that there's a little green point here. This point is the beginning point of the ivy generator. In order to control the ivy generator, I need to go to modify with the point selected. And there are a lot of options here in this menu. The options that you need to know for the basic of this uh, uh, plugin is only grow ivy. Once you hit this, the ivy will start growing and intersecting objects and things like that. So it's essentially the beginning of the generator. And you also need to know this stop here. This ivy has a little bug. When you start growing, unless you have a monster PC, it will get stuck on growing. It won't stop. And if you try to stop it, it can crash. So in order to avoid this problem, what I usually do is I go to, I hit V here and I give it steps, how many steps I want it to grow and then stop. So 800 steps in my experience is a good number. So I'm going to give it 800. So it will start growing once I hit here and stop at 800. So now that we have a beginning point, we have 800 steps, let's grow the ivy. Once I click here, you can see the ivy is starting growing on the wall here, on the wall here, and it climbs on the balcony a little bit. As you can see, it's growing on the bottom here, and the steps are climbing. As you can see, 700, almost 800, and it stops at 800. So after we did that, you can rotate to the scene and see that we have ivy growing on our building here. And a little bit on this side, so it's growing nicely. Let's just take a look at it, F4 to see it without wireframe. As you can see, the ivy grew on the side of the building. It has leaves in the end here and branches branching out from here. But now I want to sign more leaves to this form. So once I click this and go to modify panel, now I can uh, change the amount of leaves and branches. To do this, I'm going to go to mesh. I'm going to go to leaves. And I'm going to, the size of the leaf is what it says, the size. So if I give it a size of 15, the leaves will be much bigger, as you can see. But a size of 10 is fine, I think. Uh, density is how many uh, leaves you have on this form here. So I want a little bit more leaves because you have like a, uh, naked branches here. I don't like that. So let's give it a density of 0.4. Now, as you can see, you have more leaves on the form. Let's give it even 0.5. All right, even more leaves. So now you have leaves on the form, much more, and branches. Another thing I want to show you is, so you have the size of the leaf and the density of the leaf. You can change the seed. So this is the random, random seed. If you hit here on the seed, it will just change the form of the placement on the leaves on the form until you find something that you like. It just randomly changes the placement of the leaves. So I think that is fine. Now you can change the branches themselves too. If I zoom inside, you can see that these branches are squares. Now if you render from a distance like we do from here, you won't see that they are squares, so it's fine to leave them as is because it is uh, less taxing on the computer. So leaving them as squares are fine. But if you are uh, rendering from a zoom point like, like here, you can see that they are square and that's not good for us. So you need to up in the branches in the mesh, up the sides to let's say 15. So now you have 15 sides and it's more round. Uh, in our case, we don't need, uh, you can go up to eight only. So just if you hit 20, just uh, 
places 8 here. So 4 is fine for us because we're rendering from a distance. The size of the leaf, if you give it a size of 5, the leaves are very, not the leaves, I'm sorry, the branches are very thick. We don't need them to be so thick, so let's get him back to 0.5. So let's recap. You place a point on your wall. You set the uh, stop point at 800 or 1000. Just try it. If 800 is not enough and you want to grow it more and not stop like me here, but grow up and more uh, branches, give it a value bigger than 800. But start with 800 and go up or down from there. And then hit Grow Ivy. It will grow the ivy on the wall and intersect with everything in the scene. So all the geometries with the balcony is everything. It will grow on them. And then after you finish growing, just uh, go to Mesh here and set the amount, the density of the leaves, the size of the leaves, and the size and the density uh, of the branches. After you did that, the last thing I want to, uh, to tell you is this uh, plugin does not support V-Ray. What this means that if I go to my materials and I select pick from object and I pick this material from this object, you can see that it's standard material, it's not a V-Ray material. To fix this problem using one click, just let's go to C, go to camera. Using one click, just hit in an empty space in your scene, right click on the mouse and uh, hit V-Ray Scene Converter. What this does, don't hit anything here, what this does is converts all the uh, materials in the scene that are not V-Ray to V-Ray. So once I hit Convert, it will take a couple of seconds, and now you can see that all the materials are now, are now V-Ray. It just converts them automatically. So now our branches and our leaves will be V-Ray material. They will be grayed out here, uh, don't uh, mind this, when you render, they will render correctly. So after you do this, I already rendered the scene, you can see the same scene we already did with the add I just added. So as you can see, you have a couple of ivies growing here on the balcony and it just adds something new to the scene, some more details. You can grow ivy on the fence here and on other places. So this is the basic of this uh, plugin. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.